Shalom, this is GMS Holland Sit Downs coming back with a lesson. I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Bashami Haushai, Basham Raka Kodash, double honors to the elder apostle, great millstone, peace and salutations to the elect out there spreading this word and society and the truth all over the four corners of the earth. Gone. This is going to be a lesson concerning um, the Shabbat, Sabbath, Shabbat. Um, how to know when the sun is down. There's this uh, certain doctrine that's been going on in the internet also <clears throat> about um, yeah, not being able to see whether it's a full moon, whether it's the new moon, because it's too, it's too dim, stuff like that. And then also like uh, the Sabbath starts when it's dark, when it's completely dark, because what do we use nowadays? Simple, we just use um, a Google. We type in on Google uh, your area where we are, if you don't have your location on, and then you just type in sun, uh, sundown, sun, uh, yeah, sundown. I'll be typing uh, Zons on the hand, which is the Dutch for sundown. If I type in sundown, it shows me <clears throat> in the location where I am right now, 21, 59, it's going to be sundown. So people want to say like, well, well, how, how did we know that back in the days we, we would just do it when, when, it's, when it's dark, this and that. But if you, if you want to speak concerning that, you have to realize that when the sun goes down, the new day started. If you're gonna wait until the uh, until the until it's dark, and you still cooking your food or uh, having sex with your wife, you're breaking the Sabbath, man. So, do you want to risk risk that 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 um, time to um, to break the Sabbath? It's better for you to, as soon as the sun goes down, start keeping the Sabbath. If you are uh, instructed well in, the, in keeping the Sabbath, and if you have been in this in this truth for a certain amount of years, you know you need to do everything step by step. That's what we teach. Don't jump the gun. Don't be, you know, ready to to do to to put all the burdens of the law upon yourself because it's a it's a process. You know, uh, we we once forgot how these things work, and now we have to slowly but surely get into. The last that she commandments and 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 follow the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahshai slowly but surely, you know. But it needs time. So if you are keeping the Sabbath, you you don't want to cook, you don't want to you don't want to clean, you don't you you don't want to work if it's possible, you don't want to have sex, you don't want to work out, meaning training. So you want to do everything before sundown. Now they want to say like yeah, uh, back in the days we didn't did not use. Uh, uh, no, no mobile phones whereon you can see that the sun is down. I, I agree to that. But back in the days, our knowledge concerning nature was far more uh, developed than it is nowadays. You see? So yesterday I was on, on my balcony. I was doing some work. You know, I was there with my laptop. My dog was next to me. And I already know, I already know this. But the thing... Where on, where out you can see the sun is about to go down is the birds. Behind my house, I have uh, I have a lot of birds, and uh, well, I have a uh, big big ass trees behind my house. So I know that these um, crows they uh, fly around for the last ten minutes. You know, it, it seems like a. a one last uh, flight before they uh, they enter into the trees and the moment it is sundown yesterday it was sundown uh, 2206 the moment it is sundown they in the tree man you see maybe two or three or four birds still flying but this is a whole pack of birds man this is uh, hundreds of birds so the moment the sun is down the moment the sun is down, that's when these birds uh, basically go go to rest, man. 
So my point with this with this uh, information is that our people had had that understanding already. Like this is something we can figure out now. So what do you think that the, that our people knew back in the days, man? When they was very well instructed in how to keep the law, and commandments. Every feast day starts from sundown to sundown, man. It, uh, uh, yeah, starts sundown and ends on sundown. Unless it's a it's a longer period of days, but it all always begins with the sundown and ends with the sundown. That's in the laws. So, do you really think that our people did not know when the exact sundown was gonna be? Of course they did. Of course they did, man. The scriptures speak about that we had to observe to keep the Sabbath. So, real quick, man. Um, I'm gonna show you this uh, this article. It's a wonder wonder opolis org. It says, "Have you ever wondered where do birds go at night? <laughs> why why is that something that you should wonder? Because you don't see them. You don't see birds at night. You don't see them flying. Sometimes you see um, you see." Uh, geese fly over in the night because sometimes they fly from one from one um, river to another or one um, lake to another that happens but birds are predominantly predominantly in the in the in the trees man in their nests to lay their uh, bed just like it's um, the scriptures speak about with Yahweh Shai like birds, birds have nests, but the Lord has no place to uh, to uh, uh, rest. Basically, roughly paraphrasing scripture. Um, so that's what birds do, man. When they go in the into the into the trees, they go to rest. That's what they're gonna do uh, when the sun goes down. So it says, have you ever wondered where birds go at night? What do most birds tend to do at night? Do all birds sleep at night? So here it says. Let me just cut to the point. Because of course there's all these uh, jewelry things in it too. About bird watching. Okay. I'm, I'm going to read from here. It says. Once the sun goes down, you probably won't see many birds at all, unless they are noct nocturnal, like owls. So basically, night hunters, they are able to uh, to see in the night, unless birds are nocturnal, and they go for a hunt, like owls, then um, then you will see them in the night. But Still, owls you won't you won't really catch them, man, because they 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 uh, they wise predators, and they, of course they are hiding. So um, most birds disappear, seem to disappear, with the last rays of sunlight. Where do they all go? Most birds are diurn, diurnal, diurnal diurnal slakia which means they are most active during the day especially early in the morning and late in the afternoon like humans do who are active during the day most birds spend their night hours with one goal in mind sleep so that sleep is being ushered in when they when the last rays of sunlight are there so if you catch yourself outside and it's about to be Sabbath <clears throat> Your phone is dead. You're wondering what what time it is and uh, whether it's gonna be sundown. You can look at the birds, man. You can look at the birds because it's difficult to look at the horizon. Uh, um, of course, it depends on the lands uh, the landscape you are in. If you are in a flat landscape, then uh, it's it's kind of easy. But if you are in a hill country, that's difficult. If you are um, if you are um, close to the beach, it's easy because you can just look at the beach and see the sun go down. Um, 
if you are in an area where there's a lot of trees, it's, it's difficult, you know, because how, how do you know that the sun is going down? So I understand the question, but it's not that, not that hard to, to, uh, to understand, man. It's not that difficult, so to speak. So this is one thing. You got the birds, man. The birds show us when, when the sun is going down. Now, of course, we didn't, we didn't just rely on birds to know when, when the Sabbath kicks in or when the feast day kicks in. We had that understanding. Plus, you had people. We had people that had understanding and that just would, they would just watch when the sun goes down. They would just observe it. Like the scripture says, observe the Sabbath, right? They would watch the sun go down. They would just watch the sun go down. So this is an example of the tribe of Issachar, which are the so-called Mexicans. They had that understanding too. So this is First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. The heads of them were 200, and all their brethren were at their commandment. So what, what do those times represent? They had knowledge over the, the stars, the heavens, the constellation, which in the heavens, time is written. How is time written in the heavens? Genesis chapter 1. Uh, let me see. Genesis chapter 1, verse 4. Uh, shall I grab this? Yeah, Genesis... Genesis 1 and 14. And the most I said, let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. You see, so the, the lights in the firmament are there for signs and seasons to, to, to understand and to know what's going on. Okay? Bear with me for a moment. Oh, I'm gone. So they, the, the lights in the firmament are to know what's going on in the world. So Issachar had that knowledge. But next to Issachar, you had people that had that understanding, man, that knew exactly when the sun was going to go down. You had observers like that. Because there was an order what Israel ought to do when the new moon or the Sabbath kicks in, which is this. This is Psalms 81, verse 3. Psalms 81 and 3. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon. In the time appointed on our solemn feast day. You see? So, when the new moon kicks in, when the Sabbath kicks in, when the solemn feast day kicks in, Israel ought to blow the trumpet, which that blowing of the trumpet represents to warn the people. Hey, Sabbath is about to come. The horn is being blown. You see? Or the trumpet or the horn. And Israel is being warned of the, of the up and coming feast day, man. Solemn, solemn uh, feast day, which is solemn, is holy. You see? Israel would be warned of that feast day coming up so people would just know you just need a lot uh, 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 you do, just need some people that that uh, stand up on the tower and watch the horizon to see the sun go down and and you already got it man but like i said next to uh, uh watching the sun go down you had um, you have uh, things like the birds man and i'm sure there are plenty many uh, plenty more things that are out there where which you can understand and know when it's sundown but i just just name one um example which is the birds man 
the birds go to sleep when the sun goes down and, and exactly pinpoint it on the minute the moment the sun is down these birds is in the trees believe me you can check it out for yourself the moment the sun is down these birds are in their in, in their nests so for us our people that observe the sundown coming in kicking in what do they do they blow the trumpet they warn the people and they let them know that the, the sabbath is about to come up or the new moon is about to come up you have to understand we live we used to live in, in societies wherein everyone was according to the uh, according to the commandments of the lord so when everyone is according to the commandments of the lord you can just uh, uh, let the whole nation or community uh, find a way to to adapt itself to it. If you have high walls, you know city gates, high walls, then just stand upon the uh, upon the towers, man, and watch uh, towards the horizon. If it, if it's not if you're not able to to watch the horizon. The um, certain trees can be cut down to observe those things, man. Or men can go out to the hilltop to watch the sun go down. When the sun go down, they, they blow the trumpet from the hilltop. There are all kinds of ways that Israel had that had that uh, 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 thing uh, unlocked, man. And I, I can just um, how you call that? Give some examples uh, as I, as I'm thinking, man. What Israel, uh, what what ways Israel had to to know that the sun is down? Because they ain't gonna wait until the until it's dark, man. Because that's when they uh, transgress the commandments. And transgressing the the Sabbath was a very heavy thing. Some people got put to death for breaking the Sabbath, man. Let me see if I can pull that up. I don't have much minutes anymore. Let me finish this real quick. Uh, blow up the trumpet in a new moon in the time appointed on our solemn feast day for this was the statute for Israel and a law of the power of Jacob see it's a law of the power of Jacob now let me see if I can find that scripture okay so let me see numbers Numbers 15, Numbers 15 and 32. It says, um, Numbers 15 and 32. And while the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man that gathered sticks on the Sabbath. Now, if you, was, if you were to gather sticks on the Sabbath, you were basically working. Because you you be like yeah I will just wait until it's dark then when it's dark then for me it's Sabbath. Well if you if you would do that back in those days this would happen to you. Numbers fifteen and thirty two. And while the children of Israel were in the wilderness they found a man that gathered sticks upon the Sabbath Sabbath day and they found it's lucky and they that found him gathering sticks brought him unto Moses and Aaron and unto all the congregation and they put him inward because it was not declared what should be done to him and Yahweh said unto Moses the man shall be surely put to death all the congregation shall stone him with stones without the camp and the congregation brought him without the camp and stoned him with stones and he died as Yahweh commanded Moses so it was a commandment to put this man to death, man, by the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. So it was not because of uh, Israel, they wanted to do it themselves. No, it was because of the commandment. Yahweh told them, put this man to death because he broke the Sabbath. So if you think that, oh, the Sabbath, for me, the Sabbath starts when it's dark, then you're already going off, man. So what does the scripture say? Um, judges. Judges 5 and 11. They that are delivered of the noise of arches in the place of drawn water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of 
his villages in Israel, then shall the people of Yahweh go down to the gates, which that's happening right now. But the point is, we are rehearsing the righteous acts in this place where we are right now. We are rehearsing the righteous acts. So we're trying to keep the, the, the law, such the commandments to the best of our ability. Okay? Then there's another scripture in Lamentation. Let me see if I can pull it up. Because we forgot the Sabbath. We forgot the Sabbath day, so how to keep it. So um, we have to bring it back. Remembrance. Let me let me filter on that. Remembrance. Bring back to remembrance, basically. Roughly paraphrasing. Anyway, yeah. I can't find it right now. I can't find it right now, but um, the scriptures speak about um, that in those days, um, our men men are go going to uh, bring back the knowledge of Yahweh back into remembrance, which which represents the keeping of the feast days of the Sabbaths of the new moon. Maybe if I type in new moon. I don't think so. No. So I had a couple of more scriptures, I believe. Chronicles, Psalms, Numbers, Judges, Limitations. No, so that was it, man. So like I said, man, there Israel had multiple ways to understand and to know when the Sabbath came in. You know, they, they, they didn't need no phone, but today we have a phone, so it's convenient for us. We can just type in sun, sundown. And we can actually, if, if sometimes, if you are in a certain situation, you can actually see and watch the sun go down, man. You can just see it, man. You can just see the sun go down. And, and check if Esau is correct. But of course Esau is correct because he's, observing, he's an observer of times, man. They are stargazers. They are... They are um, observers. You got the uh, the weather report. Where do you think they got that from? From observing the skies, man. From watching the skies. So that's what they did, man. And that's what Israel did also to a certain degree to observe, to keep the Sabbath. And I now I know what the other scripture was that I had. Exodus. Was it Exodus? Yeah. Exodus chapter 20. Uh, it's like Exodus chapter 31. Verse 16, and with this I'm going to close them out. Exodus 31 and 16. Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, to observe the Sabbath throughout the generation for a perpetual covenant. Now if you look up the word observe, the word observe in the Hebrew is Aisha. And Aisha means to do, fashion, accomplish, make to work, make, produce, to work. To deal, to act, act with effect, effect to make, to produce. Okay, then it says to attend to, put in order. So the order is uh, on the seventh day ye shall keep my Sabbath, right? From the new moon, new, with the new moon being the first day to keep the Sabbath, the first day of the month. And I'm not going to go all, all into that. You can go in my life, uh, GMS Holland Life playlist and uh, click on the, the instructions for the Sabbath. Uh, where, yeah, I explained the Sabbath over there. So you can check it out over there. But the new moon is the first day. Uh, according to the observing thereof, the new moon is the, is the, is the first day. Seven days later, uh, when the sun goes down, is the seventh day. Because, like Genesis says, he called the day, uh, the light, um, uh, the light, the day, uh, and the darkness, the night, and uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing, man. And uh, man, 
And the evening and the morning were the first day, exactly. So in the evening, the day starts. The day starts in the evening. You see? The day starts in the evening. So as soon as uh, as the sun goes down, it's the next day. So that's when you start to keep the Sabbath. So that was the commandment. So we have to act accordingly. We have to attend to and put it in order. So it says to observe, uh, celebrate, inquire, to appoint, ordain, institute, to bring out. So we had to do these things and we had to observe it. We have to make sure that we put everything in the right order. If you look at the book of uh, Leviticus, man, you're going to see a lot of things that, you, that we as a nation had to put in order, man. Especially the Levites. Now, are you going to talk about like, yeah, how is that even possible to do these things? No, we did it, man. Because we are a holy nation unto Yahweh, which the, whole, the word holy comes from the word santa, which means to be separate. We are separate from these other nations, so we had that ability. So to question whether it was possible to know or to just wait until it's dark, that's nonsense, man. This is all scriptural and the example of the birds. It's just, it's just one example, man. But Israel had many, many ways to... To understand and to know when the sun goes down. So with that, I'm gonna say, Kalayim Yahabashim Yahshabashim Rukakadashim. I want to the elect.